Welcome back to Cardinalities.org. Today we're going to be continuing with the unreality of time, looking at McTaggart's famous argument. In this video, we're going to be looking at the third part of the argument, Is Time Contradictory?, where McTaggart is going to claim to demonstrate that the A series is contradictory, and therefore, since from the previous arguments, the A series is necessary to time, and therefore something that's necessary to time is contradictory, and so time is unreal. Let's take a look. So, the second half of McTaggart's argument is that time is unreal because the A series is contradictory. McTaggart will claim that since no one event can be past, present, and future, but also every event must at some time be past, present, and future, time is unreal. He will further demonstrate that using time to attempt to resolve this problem will only create a vicious circle. One way to formulate this argument might be as follows. No one event can be more than one of past, present, and future. All events are, at some point, past, present, and future, according to the A series. Therefore, the A series that uses past, present, and future is contradictory, because every event can't be any more than one of past, present, or future, and yet all events are past, present, and future. Since time relies, from the previous argument, on a contradictory series, therefore, time is unreal. Premise 2 should be clear. All events are at some point past, present, and future. The start of World War I is past, and was present, and it was future. You watching this video is present, will be past, and was future. And the heat death of the universe is future, and will at some point in the future be present and then past. So each moment in time is going to pass through future, present, and eventually past. This might in turn lead you to doubt premise one. You might claim that no event is past, present, and future at the same time, but they are past, present, and future at different times. But the problem with this is, according to McTaggart, you must assume that time is real to escape the problem. Basically, you have to assume that time passes to state that this is going to work. And the reality of time is exactly what is at question here. To do so is going to be to beg the question against McTaggart's position, according to him. We take for granted that events and objects can have different properties at different times, but in order to do so, we must assume that time itself is real. And yet, to prove that time is real, we must posit it that events and objects have different properties at different times. According to McTaggart, this creates a vicious circle. Therefore, time is unreal. In the next video, we'll be looking at objections to the unreality of time in all of its forms. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.